Get ready for the next battle. Hey, hey, everybody, Smiles here, and get ready for the next battle with Tekken Tag 2. Woo! Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, that... <laughs> That was a pretty lame intro, I know, I know. But hey, it's gonna be fun. We're gonna get in this and let's get this going. Alright, so, um, Tekken is actually one of my all-time favorite fighting games. Uh, one of my all-time favorite fighting games. And my absolute favorite from the series was Tekken Tag. Just because there was every character in one game up to that point, uh, from Tekken 1 to 3. And Tekken Tag, you know, they included characters from Tekken 5 and Tekken 6 and Tekken 4. So I was like, yes! The back to the glorious days of childhood, back in fourth grade, I would just play Tag and Tag like nobody's business. Like literally, I broke the disc. That's how much I played it. Um, so one of the really cool things about Tag and Tag too um, was that you can actually customize a lot of things like uh, music and uh, for each stage as well as your character's costume. So before we get into the fight, let's go ahead and customize our character. Uh, a little bit of history with me and Tag and I. I'm actually really bad at this game. Uh, all I know is button mass. So there are two strategies I have. Either A, figure out a really good move and spam it, or B, just button mash and maybe something will happen. And half the time it works. I mean, so I have to give, you know, I gotta give a shout out to those guys who play Tag and Tag, or Tag and in general competitively, because I could never for the life of me figure it out. Uh, so actually, I did try to attempt to record this video, but um, I was interrupted. I had to take care of something real quick. And so uh, I bought some outfits for Force Law. Uh, and so we're gonna dress him up. So this is, this is what Force Law naturally looks like. Uh, his plain default outfit. But you know what? We're gonna we're gonna spice it up a little bit. Unfortunately, I'm pretty much broke and I can't buy much. So we're gonna have to just deal with a ha hair. This is gonna have to deal with some hair. A new nice little 60s flip right there. Looks like a greaser or something like that. And then we got some new cyclist sunglasses on him. Looks pretty tough right there. Look at him. Woo! Force, you're looking good, man. Alright, so let's go ahead and customize and change the color. So, the one thing about Tekken, though, is, man, they give you a lot that you can customize with. It's it's almost my, it's mind-boggling. It's so much to comprehend at once. So, let's try our best to figure this out and make him look the best we can. So, let's, let's, make, let's make it... I kind of wanted to go for, like, a silverish tinge. Kind of like that. Maybe the light blue and kind of go up a little bit. Yeah, that's too light. Kind of, kind of like there, you know? I like that. That's a good look on him. Let's go with that. And then let's adjust this color. Now, you'll notice... I'll, I'll show you some of my other character customizations, but you'll notice that I, I just like my characters to have just, like, the biggest hue possible and the biggest saturation possible. <laughs> so it's pretty out there. But we'll, we'll kind of we'll kind of keep it chill. I, um, maybe I would do, like, a green kind of tinge look. That looks nice. I like it. I usually don't use green often, so... Alright. So let's change the color of the hair. Um... Okay. I want to... Uh, okay. Yeah, I, I want to adjust the hair color. Oh, whoa. What? Hey, hey, hey. The game is not responding to me. Did it freeze? What? Yo, tag him! Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Uh, it looks like the game froze. <laughs> oh man. Alright. They, they just don't want me to record Tag and Tag 2. This is like my third time trying to record this too. Uh, the first time, uh, I helped my brother out with something. He knocked on the door. I was like, hey, Steven, can you mind help me or something? Like, Alright, fine. So I like, stopped the recording and I stopped. The second time, I was just like, oh, I'm super tired. And you can probably tell, like, now I'm, like, feeling super tired. Oh, there we go. That fixed it. Cool. Um, alright, so let's get back to it. And so now, I'm just like, you know what, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do it. If this turns bad, I'll delete the recording. If it's alright, I'll keep it. So we can, we can kind of give him, like, a silver, we can give him the gray fox look. But I think he should have some color. Let's not do anime style, but let's try to get him, try to get him, like, a brown, you know? You know? So let's... Let's see, if we want a brown kite color, we gotta... There you go. Ooh, that, that looks good. Right, um, kind of like, kind of like that. I, I kind of like that. Let's, let's, let's change it though. Okay, that's really brown. We can change the hue of the brown. Nah, this is gonna be purple and weird. I don't like that. Yeah, maybe it's oversaturated. 
No, but it doesn't become white. You you need like you need that high saturation, but you need it like brown, like kind of like it's kind of reddish. It's back to yellow. There you go. There you go. All right. Kind of like right there. Okay. Woo! And there we have it, folks. Now right, let's go ahead and take that picture. The new force law. Oh no! Look, man. Just there you go. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. So <laughs> this is so weird, but this kind of reminds me. So that picture I took. There's this guy uh, that I went on a Europe trip. And I went on this group Europe trip, like a college trip. And this guy, I kid you not, his name is Ryan Stage. He kind of looks like that Force Law. <laughs> so weird. I'm sorry, Ryan, if you're watching this, but you kind of look at that Force Law. Um, okay, so I'm going to change a little bit of the game settings. I used to just keep it down at one round. Oh, two rounds. Okay, good. We'll change it to four rounds. That way we can, I can kind of show off a little bit more of the music that I have in this game. No, I don't go in online because I don't want to be a jerk and be like, I'm just spamming buttons and beat people. Or I actually lose and they get mad at me. Alright, so let's go ahead and get the new force law. <laughs> it looks like... I can't... <laughs> it looks like Ryan, I'm sorry. Okay. Um, okay, so I can go... I don't know. Okay, I do like my Raven... So I have three that are really good. And kind of... By good, I mean really weird. Hey, where'd it go? Okay, yeah, but... Oh, it wasn't Lars, it was Lee Chao Long. Okay, so... I have uh, Raven, which I kind of made... In my opinion, I think it looks a little bit like Jay-Z, but... Uh, I should actually change his hair to uh, black, but I should try to... Because I, I changed Forrest's hair, so I should be able to change... Uh, what's my carcass? Uh, Raven's hair. Uh, Lee Chao Long, who I love spamming with. Where is Lee? Lee! Where are you at, boy? Uh, oh yeah, he's over here, chilling with, uh, Eddie Gordo. So I have, like, Lee, uh, it's just a plain tuxedo, but the bottom is, the, uh, the shoes. On the bottom of the shoes, you might be able to see it there, it's, like, orange. So it's kind of like UT orange. And then, um, I have, uh, oh, Kuma! Yes! So I actually reviewed this game for Video Game Hour Live, and, uh, there's a boy named Ben Pitts, and, uh, yes, I gave him the red jeans! Just like Ben Pitts, Kuma look. I'm pretty sure Kuma looks the best. But right now, we're just gonna, we're gonna show off Jay Z, Raven. I, I don't care if it doesn't actually look like Jay Z. It's Jay Z Raven. And one thing really cool about Tekken Tag too. Um, there's actually a uh, Snoop Dogg stage. It's the best thing ever. So the oh yes, we're at the Snoop Dogg stage. So yes, um, unfortunately I won't be able to like show off the entire stage, but there he is, Snoop Dogg on on his throne rapping for a song that he made just for this game. Uh, and then there's like dancers on poles and like cars on hydraulics and it's super gold. It's like the greatest thing ever. Ah oh, shoot, okay, I'm getting too greedy. I forgot how to play as Raven. I, I knew a couple of moves. Uh, everyone has that tackle. Oof. That was, I didn't know I was going to do that kick. That's pretty cool. Maybe I shouldn't have done four rounds. Okay, I'll, I'll change it back to three. This is going to take a long time. The way I play, yeah, it'll take a long time. And so, yeah, that's Snoop Dogg, like, on the TV, just rapping. I'm telling you, this is the greatest stage of all time. Uh, new Smash Brothers, hello. Snoop Dogg needs to have a stage. Now that you can play as a me, you can make Snoop Dogg. I understand you don't want to make a real Snoop Dogg, which is fine. But... We need a Snoop Dogg stage. As you can tell, my strategies are super cheap, and they're not even that good. I'm trying to figure out my, like, disappear attack. Like, there's a- hang on, I can just, like, back? Nope. 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 How about this? Nope. 
that's cool! But, no. <laughs> that's not what I want to do. There's a move that Raven will actually, like, disappear and he can, like, attack from the air. Or attack from where he is. And it's kind of like a really cool fake out. Yeah, we have four rounds is too long. Actually, you know what? I think we should go back to two. After I beat us, uh, and uh, Fei Long. Okay, I gotta figure out that disappear move. Oh shoot, they went to rage mode. I, I, for the life of me, I can never figure out how to do rage mode. Like the, uh, no, that's, it looks cool, but that's not it. Nope. It's not a double tap. Tekken is more of directional, like Marvel and Street Fighter, they have like a circle of pad motions. But Tekken is more just like, uh, directional. So, I mean, in a sense, the combo should be easy to do because it's just like, hit the buttons in the right order. But it's all about timing. Alright, we're quite out of this match. Um, because four rounds is way too long. I, I don't want to sit here for four rounds. So, yeah, uh, you'll notice that a lot of my uh, themes are... Pokemon based. So, uh, th this game came out around the same time that the Black and White 2 soundtrack, or uh, Black and White 2, uh, the game came out. So, a lot of it is based on, uh, the Black and White 2 soundtrack. But, yeah. Alright, let's get back in that RK. We'll still fight with Faye. Uh, no, not Faye. Uh, Forest Law. I still haven't unlocked his ending yet. So, I need to do that. <laughs> no, <laughs> I can't get over <laughs> how much he looks like. Like that picture looks like my friend Ryan. I'm, I'm really sorry. Uh, we'll play with Kuma because that is probably the sickest bear you will ever see. We got the bow tie, the glasses, the jeans, the sneakers. You can't touch this bear. Kuma's the best. Get ready for the next battle. Oh, we fighting Raven. Oh, he got mad I kicked him off the team. And sometimes, like, the computer outfits are really stupid. Oh, okay, I actually down. Yeah, I have. Got nothing on me. <laughs> oh, they actually look pretty good. I don't like Lars's hat, but Raven looks pretty sick. Round one. Back to Snoop Dogg! They must have realized I really like this stage. They're like, you know what, Smog really likes this stage. We gotta make sure that we play here. Okay, I won't learn Raven's cool. I'm just... Dude, that, see how super cheap I was? Like, let's do three uh, quick kicks. I'll, okay, good. Thank you, Raven, for kicking me in the face. I mean, you can probably just hear the buttons clack as I keep on playing this game. It's ridiculous. That's disgusting. Like... I get Kuma. Ba, 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 ba. I'm a graduate. Look at my hat. Ask me what school I went to. It wasn't Baylor. That's a Texas joke. You guys aren't from Texas. You might not get that joke. That's okay. That was a bad joke. <laughs> Alright, hopefully we can finish off quick. Get this over with. So this is, uh... So this is actually the Tekken Tag 2 theme that was on, uh... The Overclocked Remixes Apex 2014 album. So shout out to them. That's an awesome album. If you get a chance, definitely check them out on Overclocked Remix, uh, ocremix.org. Uh, the music is pretty cool. Uh, it's basically a site where they do a lot of video game remixes and people submit and, uh, you know, they get judged and stuff, so. And they're really cool about their usage policy. So, yeah, no, definitely check them out. Uh, that's probably, that's one of the reasons why I didn't mind uh, playing Tekken Tech 2 uh, with their music in it. So, if I recorded it, you know. They'll get credit, of course. Note yourself, remember to uh, credit them at the end of the video. If I don't, and I have this video up, I will take it down, and then we upload with their credits. I don't know exactly who made this remix. I think it was 
I, I don't know the exact artist, but he was pretty good. I've listened to his other stuff and I really liked it. Ah, shoot. Boom! <laughs> That's kind of so I'm just so bad! So, uh, I'm the bear. <laughs> I gave each other the stare down. As a, as a bear, I took an old man, threw him to a guy, who kicked him in the head, and finished him off. That's kind of sad. Lily's pretty fun um, as a character. I like playing as her. Um, but as my friend Daniel once told me, yeah, she's great for beginners. <laughs> I appreciate that, Daniel. But yeah, now, Lily, uh, I like a lot of, like, she has a lot of cool dodge. Ooh, dude, Ganryu's hair. Awesome! Um, or Genryu. I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong. But, now Lily has a lot of cool dodges. I think it was like circle back and you can like, you can dodge to the left, dodge to the right, and do like different kicks and punches with, as you dodge. Oof, she kicked me right in the gut. My bear gut. Yeah, the thing about Tekken is you can get a lot of perfects, even like in high, uh, she tried to run away. Um, you can get a lot of, uh, Perfect uh, by juggling people. And yes, you're listening to the new Super Mario Bros. Wii soundtrack. Uh, this is the seashore level. The one, I mean, I like Tekken Tag. Uh, for the most part, I used to like Tekken's music a lot, but uh, Tekken Tag 2 had a lot of, I guess, EDM and really out there electronic music. Sometimes it was just kind of like overpowering to the actual fighting, you know? And it took away from the experience for me, for some of the songs. Or, a good, okay, a good portion of them. But, uh, you know, that's why I definitely like the option of, hey, you can pick your own music and put it in the game. So that was really cool. I wish more games did that. Uh, you know, not for every game. Or not for, you know, like, you can mix between the game soundtrack and your own soundtrack and stuff. So they went for the, so Asuka Kazama went for the cowboy theme here. Like this theme, like the promenade, I actually really like this one from Tekken Tag 2. It's pretty chill. Ooh, cheese. Okay, tried to do cheap attacks, didn't work. Now I'm just gonna attack you as a bear. Blocking? What is that? I don't block. I just... Maul. Hopefully I'll get more money so I can get more outfits for Mr. Stage over here. <laughs> I'm sorry. It really does look like my friend. Um, okay. I'll, <laughs> I'll stop being dumb. Actually, I can't promise that. Um... You can actually, it's kind of crazy, uh, if you corner your opponent in the wall and like keep on just like adding the offensive pressure, as they're running away, you can do enough damage to knock them out. It's ridiculous. Like, Tekken is definitely a game that's hyper offensive. You have to, you know, find the right time to attack and then just like keep on mauling them. You know, it's like a lot of poking and stuff. It's great. High level Tekken plays. It's crazy. He got the ice cream cone. Nice. Uh, actually, this, uh, actually it wasn't, it was about a few weeks ago, uh, I was actually at this fountain. It was funny because when, uh, when I first went to this fountain, I was like, oh my gosh, you can actually fight here in Tekken Tag! And my friends were like, Smog, what are you talking about? Like, what? But, no, I, it was the greatest, it was the greatest moment ever. Um, it was definitely a lot more crowded than this. Uh, there were definitely a lot more people when I went there. And, uh, this actually, uh, the song that you're listening to now comes from Super Paper Mario, uh, from the Wii version, uh, the Wii. Uh, this is when you fight Bowser. That was a good game. I should definitely play through that. I, uh, me and my brother would used to, a while back I rented that game, and my brother's like, why didn't we just buy it? So I was like, fine, we'll buy it. And... I never regret that decision. That game is so much fun to play through. 
Um, it's not like the traditional Mario, Paper Mario games, like Paper Mario, obviously, and Paper Mario The Thousand the Door. But it was kind of cool where it combined like Mario platforming with a sort of RPG element to it. And it was a really fun action game. I, and I guess in a sense RPG. It was really fun. But it wasn't really RPG in the sense that you would, l you would level up. But it wasn't like, oh, you had to pick stats and stuff. So it had RPG elements, but not necessarily an RPG game, you know? But it was still fun. Anyways, uh, so yeah, uh, like I said earlier, this game came out when Black, uh, Pokemon Black and White 2 came out around that time. So a lot of the music comes from Black, uh, a lot of the music that I picked came from Black and White 2. This is the rival battle theme. The original Red and Blue Rival Battle theme remixed in Black and White 2. I thought it was appropriate. <laughs> what was the greatest? <laughs> what the? <laughs> okay, I'll come down. Yeah, shoot. Oh shoot! Dang! Look at Kuma flipping all over the place. Alright, I gotta be... Okay, I actually have to play with some skill. Now. Oh jeez! I can never figure out how to do that! Nice! Okay, so to do that, I found my new spam move, guys! <laughs> it just feels so bad! Like, I know I'm a bad player, but I'm winning! <laughs> Alright, so we're almost to the end. Uh, we're fighting Heihachi and Jin Pachi Mishima. Uh, I felt really bad. The voice actor for the original Heihachi, uh, for Heihachi, actually killed himself, so they kept him young forever, so. That's kind of harsh. But, you know, it happens, so. Uh, just, you know. Uh, thoughts for his friends and family, and, you know, thoughts for him, too. It's tough. Alright. So if you guys don't know really the story about Tegan, uh, Kuma is actually uh, Heihachi's pet. And that's why Kuma knows how to fight, because he trains with his master a lot. I think there are multiple Kumas? Either there are multiple Kuma, or there have been multiple Kumas, or I, I don't know. Because I know for a fact, I think there's a Kuma in Tekken Tag, there's a, not Tekken Tag, uh, there's a Kuma in Tag 2. Alright, uh, okay, let me, let me get my thoughts together. There's a Kuma in Tekken 2. But he's different than the Kuma in Tekken 3, if I'm not mistaken. Like, this Kuma has a rivalry with Paul Phoenix. So... Woo, jeez! Woo, cheat mode activated! One thing I don't like about this game, though, during the arcade mode, is that they always have like, this big thing, like, oh, you're promoted second Q, Caillou, or whatever, and, um, and then just, like, covers up the other characters during, like, these cutscenes. Well, it's like, come on, like, just, like, put it at the corner of the screen, and I'll be like, okay, I got promoted, that's nice, and that's how much money I got, but, you know, don't cover the cutscenes up. Now we gotta fight Ogre, Tekken 3 out fans out there will remember him. This guy was nasty. I remember when me and my friends first unlocked him in Tekken 3. We just spammed the heck out of him. With the fire attack. Actually, oh, actually, you know what? I did make an outfit for Ogre. I changed him to an elephant. A blue elephant. Like, really blue. Like I said, I love just abusing the saturation. Oh, jeez. Come on, Ryan Stage. You got this. Don't! 
Come on. Oh, shoot. We're not the big bear. I think they shrunk down ogres. Well, obviously. Like, Jinpachi is also a boss character in Tekken 5. Yeah, 5. Uh, so they shrunk him down. 5 was really good. I personally like 5 a lot. I did get 6, but I haven't really played it much. But, it was alright. I know Bob is, like, a really good character. Uh, my friend Ryan was telling... Not Ryan Stage, but another Ryan. I'm friends with a lot of Ryans, okay? Um, my friend Ryan was telling me that, uh, Bob, the finals of a Tekken, sac uh, Tekken 6 match had two Bobs facing each other. It was, like, a straight-up mirror match. I mean, to be fair, Marvel versus Capcom 3 eventually got to the point where people just run Doctor Doom all the time. I mean, I don't blame him. I use him too. <laughs> His versatility is like, great. Woo! Cheat mode activated! And see, like, we have this scene where Ogre is gonna be, like, destroyed by the light and stuff, and we're covered by this whole, uh, promoter to whatever. Like, I don't care. I don't go online and get rankings. Now, when I saw this at first, man, my heart broke, because, man, I know how much Jin missed his mother after she died after Tekken 2. Or oh, Tekken 3, rather. I got Ogre killed her. Oh, I don't even know. What? Oh, my controller disconnected. My bad, folks. All right, we're back in. I don't dude. The first time I got this game, I could never figure out how to beat her. Like, this girl is crazy. Then I was like, okay, cheat mode activated. I win. And, like, she's really good at these combos. Like, she won't let you go. Hey, I blocked one! Oh, shoot. Oh, get out of there, come on. <laughs> you see that? It's like, whoa, whoa, whoa! And then I just, like, touched her. I'm like... Dude, but Heavenly Garden's theme is amazing. <laughs> Alright, here we go. My controller disconnected again? That's weird. Here, I'll unplug it. Let's try that. There you go. Dude, Unknown is crazy in this game. Like, she has all these, like, crazy, like, drawback moves. Maybe she'll do some of them. But anyways, if she doesn't, uh, she has this one move where she'll push you back. And then, like, she'll summon a wooden hand that will push you back, like, she'll push you away from her. And then, uh, the wooden hand will summon you and push you towards her. Like, her animations are cool. And she gets those branches. Oh, shoot! She mad. Cheat mode activated! <gasps> it didn't work! Alright, here we go. What the? Get him, Law! Okay, there you go. The, the object of this game is not necessarily to be cheap, but figure out when to be cheap. And Law now covered up in all this blue ooze. I do like the finish. Oh, see those branches attack you. It's pretty cool. Oh, shoot. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Oh no! Kuma! Continue. Eight. Yeah, we'll we'll beat it, whatever. <laughs> Alright. So by now you're like, okay Smog, you're a pretty cheap player. Just use the same move over and over again. No guys, you have no idea. There's but one move that you guys haven't seen yet. And I call that the Choo Choo Train with the Lee Chow Long. As you can tell, Lee has won a lot of battles on the arcade mode. Of course, we don't go online with cheat mode activated. And literally, Get I call it the Choo Choo Train because it's like chaka chaka choo choo! And he just attacks. It's, it's crazy. Alright. Let's go for the. Yeah, wait, let me. Let me summon the train! Ah, 
Hang on, it missed the train. Missed the stop. All aboard the cheat train. Oh, I'm not good at the chuckage. There you go. Oh, yeah. yeah right. See how much damage I did here? This would be illegal. Oh, shoot. Okay, she is not gonna have it. Let's try to get this. Let's get the chain moving. This is so grotesque. I know. If you ever see me in the arcade playing Tekken, please put those quarters in and teach me not to be cheap. She has these wolves attacking her. It's kind of weird. I'm a wolf. I attack you. <laughs> what? That's nice. That was a good ending. Alright guys. Thanks for tuning in. It was fun. Hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. I know I was a little bit tired, but I had a great time making this video and hey, you know what? If you see me at the arcade or I ever decide to jump in online and play some Tekken Tag 2, we should meet up sometime and maybe you can teach me how to be a real fighter. <laughs> Anyways, take it easy guys. Peace. Hey, hey everybody, Smiles here, and I want to thank you very much for watching this very special episode of Gaming with Smiles featuring Tekken Tag 2. Woo! It was super fun, and I hope you guys had just as much fun as I did. Um, anyways, feel free to throw any comments below about games that you want me to play or any suggestions. I'd love to hear from you guys. Uh, and if you like this video, feel free to like and uh, subscribe to this channel by clicking on my face. <laughs> anyways, uh, huge shout out to Ivan Hoffsoak. 
uh, the creator of the Tekken Tag 2 remix that you heard here. Uh, you can listen to his remix as well as other remixes featured on the Apex 2014 soundtrack. By clicking on that link over there, that'll take you to Overclocked Remix, and those guys are amazing. They've done a lot of great stuff and a lot of great work out there, so definitely check them out. Anyways, y'all take it easy. Peace.